<laughs> that was my V. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> There's other V's we can think of. There are maybe. other V's. That's next. That's tomorrow. <laughs> Volmer. Oh yeah. Volmer. Well, that's a Volva. Oh, Volmer. It's in here somewhere. <laughs> it is. V for Volmer. Uh, wanna go on to W? Yeah. Ride the wave. What? Uh, what? Alan Watts. Oh, Alan Watts. Alan Watts. <clears throat> Alan Watts was a philosopher and an incredible guy. And he was one of the main proponents of Zen. And uh, T.J. Suzuki also was a very prolific writer on Zen. If you ever, you ought to really all maybe get a couple of Alan Watts' books. Uh, he had a unique way of writing where he would, as you would read what he had written, he would create pictures for you, which is the Channel 3 experience. You can really understand on a deep level what he was talking about. He lives on, the, actually near here, in, um, on a houseboat in Sausalito. And a very, very amazing guy. So if you ever get to hear any of his lectures, uh, read some of his books. Um, one of them is called Clouds Hidden. I forget the name of the others. There's many of them, but if you want to look them up, they're really worthwhile. I think that, I think my fascia release is the Zen of therapy, basically. What kind of therapy? Zen, Z-E-N. Zen. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Because it has to do with flow. Mm -hmm. you know, it has to do with effortlessness, that type of thing. That's mm -hmm. what we do. I got a similar sensation of that when I tried sensory uh, deprivation tanks. <clears throat> I actually like to call them sensory relief tanks. So I found some correlation. Do you have them up your way? We did. One in Whistler just closed down, so I am maybe thinking of getting one and you having it. Do. Yeah, having it as part of our uh, mm -hmm. option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You. X X-rays. Does my fascia release show up? Restrictions show up on X-rays. No, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. So that's the problem. Everybody, everybody's looking at X-rays for fractures. That's important. But once that's been ruled out, it doesn't show the fascia restrictions. So those are your new name of four. Um, fascia restrictions do not show up in any of the standard testing. X-rays, CAT scans, all that type of thing, or blood work. So. Uh, when you go through trauma, physically or emotionally, the fascial system becomes what we call restricted. And it has crushing pressure on pain sensitive structures that is what causes your suffering, your pain, your lack of motion, your headaches, the fibromyalgia, all those other diagnostic diagnoses. So it doesn't show up. So it's, all been, it's been completely missed in all the studies you may have been through. So it doesn't mean you're crazy. It just unfortunately means that standard therapy and standard medicine doesn't acknowledge or understand the importance of the fascia system. But as we said, it's beginning to happen big time right now. So. That's great. X, Y. YOLO. Yoga. 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 <laughs> what do you want to say about it? Unwind instead. Unwind instead. Well, then what's, what's missing in yoga? What's what? What's missing with yoga? What's missing? Well, we talked about unwinding. Actually, yoga came from unwinding. The problem is, in most forms of yoga now, uh, they basically stylize it to the point where it's more of a channel five experience. So you're putting yourself in positions, and all that you're waiting there, well, that is good. You're still forcing into that range, and that's the fallacy of traditional stretching also. No matter what kind of traditional stretching you do, you're forcing in that range, and that throws you into protection. So that I greatly respect yoga. I've treated many, many yoga teachers, and after they receive my fascia release, even yoga teachers have been heavily invested in yoga for 25 years. All of a sudden, they're getting a position they could never achieve because it never releases the fascia system the way MFR does, which should be combined together. But instead of pushing yourself into a position, when you get to that position, <clears throat> take your brakes off. Quiet your mind, and you'll notice what we've been talking about, your body starts to move. It's really interesting because uh, the old people have unwound over the years, uh, people that don't believe in any of this stuff, doctors, lawyers, you know, the linear type people, uh, 
Uh, they go into all the classic Gilby positions they never heard of before. But this takes you back in time into something so primal, so unbelievable. But it does in a way that's far more therapeutic than mechanically putting yourself there and just trying to push your way into it. We have several therapists that are yoga instructors that have obviously taken a lot of my fascia release courses that's combining my fascia release, unwinding, and yoga. So we have Grace Vidala with MFR Yoga, uh, Christine Wushki up in the That's her. Yeah. yeah. And then Yvonne Bannister here, um, MFR Yoga and Bar Therapy. Yes. Amazing. Can you tell us about you? Mm-hmm. You do it. I can swap out. Switch the I can be cameraman for a minute. Michelle, you want to jump in? Uh, 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 you're good. Okay. You just do it all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. 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 So my name is Yvonne Bannister, and I am located in Morgan Hill, California. So I'm here with Basha Pelvis and Women's Health. And yes, I do have yoga MFR therapy. And that is a combination of yoga with the principles of myofascial release. It is an old form of yoga, so it's not the new style westernized yoga. It's an eastern uh, yoga, uh, primarily vini yoga. And it is doing uh, a very, it is concentrated on the breath. So it's uh, the breath and the combination of breath and movement of the spine. So it is very meditative. And what we do is we do a little bit of yoga to find out those areas of stress in our bodies. And then we stop. We do some myofascial release uh, stretching. So they're actually self treatment. And then we go back to a little bit of yoga. And then we usually try to end with the jiggling. So it incorporates a lot of our self-treatment uh, techniques. And it's, I've been doing that for probably about seven years now. And it has been really fabulous. So, yeah. You're a lactation specialist. I am. I'm also a lactation consultant or certified a doula, and um, I combined a lot of what I do with my fascia release and have just seen absolutely wonderful, wonderful results, not only uh, with my clients, but also with myself. Tell them where your practice is. My practice is in Morgan Hill, California. Can be a good MC. <laughs> now Sheldon. Lives. Sheldon's from Australia. You want to tell us about you? you can your hair looks great. <laughs> Take that one. <laughs> so yes, I have a business called MFR Brisbane, which is in Queensland, Australia. So I really enjoy doing my fascia release. <coughs> I've got a range of clients in Australia, and I'm really lucky to treat some young kids that actually have cerebral palsy, which is definitely something I've become really passionate about. A bit louder, Magna. Yes. Um, and there's a few other therapists in Australia as well. There's Belinda, it's in Melbourne, and there's Ilza in Perth. I believe there's another girl as well in the city of Melbourne too. I haven't met her. So I was very lucky to get treated by Roger and Joni Edmonds as well while I was in Australia, and now they live in Atlanta too. Do you have a number they can contact you? A number, yes. <laughs> oh, on my website. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> We're actually far more advanced in America. Oh, good. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah, mfrbrisbane.com.au. Awesome. Tina Paysinger says, I've had awesome results from patients that suffer from multiple spinal compression fractures. The local spinal doctor is sending me those referrals regularly now. Happy face. Who is that? Tina Paysinger. Well, I guess so we're moving on to Z. Put it just right. Easier. Easier. Swapping. <laughs> Musical chairs. Z, we're going to zigzag. Let's switch spots. Zygoma. Zygoma. What's the zygoma? These are bones right here. <clears throat> and too many times when the fascia system tightens, it pulls the zygoma together, it twerks. 
The next time you're in a uh, large crowd, soften your visual focus. And you'll see most people have a wide eye and a narrow eye, a prominent eye and a recessive eye. And that's an aberration of the sphenoid and zygoma, which is right here. Um, I came across a book years ago, uh, it published around 1900. There was pictures of people in the same asylum. They all had a white eye, a high eye, so you're all headed that way. <laughs> but seriously, we just don't have this twist in our face and body. Our brain is being twisted because it's all interconnected. It definitely causes behavioral problems, physiological problems. I think it prematurely ages us. So this is the best way to stay healthy and happy. And just I just want to finish by saying that, you know, we all got this message somehow in society that we're here to suffer. And I want you to cancel that message. We're here to enjoy our life and to help other people enjoy their life. And this is why it's so important that we move into the Channel 3 experience because it's all about joy and creativity. It's our intuitive, instinctive side, which is the healing zone. Unfortunately, we don't heal on the intellectual side that we were taught. It's what I call our feeling intelligence. Another word for that is wisdom. So we want to have amazing wisdom. This helps us to tap into that and help our patients and clients do that too. So I'd like to thank these two beautiful women. Thank you, John. Yay. My life is really rough. Yeah, tough, tough life. <laughs> you. Do you have if our angels? <laughs> you have our angels. Oh. That's good. Oh. Angels. No. Okay. Right. Well, thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. Yeah. Don't wake up.